My name is Emma Craig. I'm clinical lead dietitian here at the RHN. My favorite parts of my role, I think, is for me is being able to make a difference. For me, coming into work, knowing that I can see people, see patients, see residents, see their families, and I can actually do things that would make a difference. My name is Briar and I work as an occupational therapy art technician. So it means that I'm in the art room all the time and sometimes on the walls. I run one-to-one -one sessions with patients. I also um, do workshops in group settings uh, with lots of different patients from different wards. And we also run family sessions where the patients can work alongside their families. Uh, so my name is Megan. I'm a speech and language therapist. Uh, I love that you know you get to work with people for a variety of different reasons, and it can be really quite functional kind of working towards people achieving what they want. So you know sometimes we have patients on drapers who their main goal is to eat at McDonald's, and we can get them from Pure hopefully closer to being able to get that McDonald's. So my name's Natalie. I'm one of the clinical lead physiotherapists at the RHM. I'm clinical lead for the physiotherapy team covering the brain injury service. Working as part of a multidisciplinary team as a dietitian is really, really important. We rely a lot on the other members of the team and we draw so much um, information. You can basically discuss our patients in a, a one place and get all the information you need, get ideas from different members of the team, um, work alongside them to achieve goals for those patients and get the patients and residents where they can to set their own goals. And you've got far more chance of reaching those goals and reaching their full potential if you do it as a team effort where you've got everyone working on different aspects of that management. Uh, so it, there's just so much support, you know, if there's something you need to do, but you're thinking, oh, this you know, I liked his positioning to be a little bit different or I'm just wondering what their cognition's like. Just the OTs and the physios are so supportive. And, you know, a music therapist and speech and language therapist work really closely together for a speech point of view because you need breathing support through speech. Um, yeah, I, it's just great. It's so integrated and it's great that we're all, you know, it feels like we're a proper team. Everyone's kind of working towards this shared goal, shared aim. It's great. So working as a multidisciplinary team is absolutely integral to the work we do here at the RHM. And physios play a role alongside our AHP partners. And it ensures that we address the holistic needs of the patients that are coming through our services and those that are permanent residents. And we are, uh, this is, could be their home and we are part of their extended um, environment, community and, and family and um, teams here have a very strong ethos of supporting our patients. The best thing about working in an MDT team is probably the fact that you learn so much from other people in specialist fields. Um, you gain so much experience and you get to team up and make sure that the residents and the patients that you work with have the best experience possible at the RHN. RHN is very, very multidisciplinary focused. All members of the multidisciplinary team are respected. We, all our views are listened to. We're not fighting for the rights of any one profession. We're all seen fairly and we've all got a big role to play in, in the management of our patients and residents.